Greetings fellow Airsoft nerds, I am James, the Operation Manager and Chief Executive Officer of True Aim Incorporated, which is an outdoor airsoft field located in Northern California. Over the last few years, on more than one occasion, I have had individuals come up to me and say, hey, I want to start my own airsoft field, what do you think? I've had this question asked of me by usually one of three different categories of individuals. Category one is the person that is starting from ground zero. They have basically an idea. They've looked at a facility or maybe they're, they're getting some finances together, but they have a facility in mind. They have an idea or a concept in mind, and they're kind of looking for some ways in which I can help them refine those ideas. Category two is it's someone that's looking to purchase a pre-existing airsoft business. So someone that's basically looking to buy a field from someone who's looking to get out of the business and they come to me and say, hey, can you look at you know the Instagram? Can you kind of, like, what's your take on this field? Do you think there's room for growth? Like, wh wh what's your opinion? Do you think I should buy this? Category three has been someone that owns either an indoor or an outdoor venue of you know some kind, and they're looking to include or incorporate Airsoft into that currently existing, like an adventure park. If you are looking to get into the Airsoft business space, Yes, the airsoft business is fundamentally the same as every other business because you still got to make money. You still have to appeal to customers. You still have to hire. You still have to sell products. You still have to sell services. It's business where folks usually fall short is they only want to kind of dip their toe or invest a little bit and expect some immediate ROI or some immediate return on investment. So they're like, hey, I want to add uh, $3,000 worth of airsoft to my business i want you know uh i want a twenty thousand dollar profit from that in the first x amount I'm like whoa, whoa 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 wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute now this is where the conversation comes in so i will always tell people yes get into the airsoft business the conversation really comes down to uh return on investment how much are you looking to invest and then what are you expecting as far as that return on investment and what kind of time frame are you looking for instance let's take someone who is from the ground up someone who has just grabbed their own facility and that is starting their own brand new airsoft field or shop you're probably not going to turn any significant profits maybe for the first six months depending on how much you've initially invested in your business could take you a while to see a return on that i'm not going to lie uh it took us a lot of work before we started really seeing any tangible ROI uh, as far as anything that was really starting to become worth our time. Let's analyze it now from the standpoint of someone who is looking to take over a currently existing airsoft business. First thing you really want to look into is what does their retail look like? If you're an airsoft field and you don't really have a real retail presence beyond consumables of like BBs and gas and armbands and stuff like that, you're killing so much. You're probably killing maybe 40% of your profits overall. About 40% of airsoft profits from a field will come from retail. And that's a rough approximation of what we've done uh, at my field. And from talking with other field managers, that's about what they're bringing in as well. So about 40% of what a field will bring in can come from retail. Again, that's also depending on how vast your product selection is. From the standpoint of someone that has, let's say like some sort of outdoor adventure park or something like that, and they're looking to bring in Airsoft, okay, well that could make sense that you really don't dip your toe into the retail because you already have, let's say, uh, laser tag or you're already doing, you have like rock climbing walls. You have all these other things that are bringing in revenue now you're just adding this other thing. So if you go to some place that has laser tag, they don't really sell laser tag guns. Uh, if you go to a rock climbing place, they're not really gonna have a lot of like crazy harnesses you could buy. Usually you just only use the gear that the facility provides. Well, yeah, you don't really need a retail presence in that sense. No one goes to you know a go-kart place at you know, Golfland Sunsplash or Boomers or wherever they have these places. And no one's like, hey, I want to buy my own go-kart and put it on this track. Like, no, no, no. Use facility provided equipment. Anyone that is looking to get into the airsoft space, the answer is yes. If someone is telling you no, 
get specifics. Because I've had that conversation with people as well. I've had conversations where people say, dude, you're the first person to be optimistic and to tell me to go forward with this. I'm like, well, yeah, that's because I know what I'm doing. Because I, look at me, I obsess over the success of my field. I obsess over Airsoft so much that today is the 6th of May and it's 1030 in the evening and I just randomly got inspired to make this video. That is the level of obsession I have for Airsoft. But I will say, if you are not currently obsessed over your current business projects or endeavors, or if you're not obsessed over the idea or the excitement that you're getting from this, in that case, I will tell you no. If this isn't going to be an obsession for you, don't do it. You're going to waste your time. You're going to provide this really cool experience that people are going to get short term, and then you're going to yank it out of their lives, and everyone's going to be upset. If you're obsessed with success, you should absolutely do this. If you're obsessed with success in anything, you should in, enter any business beyond Airsoft. Start do whatever businesses you want to create because you are already proving that you have the necessary mental skills to grow that business successfully. I have seen so many field managers half-ass their fields because they're like, oh, we don't really want to do that just uh, birthday parties and some law enforcement events and some rentals and nah, i'm good with this like no dude innovate give your customers a new experience why would you only do the same thing over look at how much you don't get excited when you talk about your field like hey what do you have new coming up nothing saturday we're gonna do saturday things and sunday we're gonna do sunday things like Bro, if you can't get excited over your own business, you shouldn't be able to give advice to anyone that wants to enter the business. I'm obsessed with my business. Obsessed. Do it. Do it. Do it. Kaber, who the f*** are you, nerd?